three older, two older brothers and one younger brother who has special needs. Um, I studied at Westminster and I studied Development Studies and International Relation. I was currently teaching in Dubai at a nursery, so as a preschool, I was head teacher and special needs sort of coordinator. So I was dealing with as well doing internal training for special needs. Um, can you share with us um, a bit about the initiative that you're setting up and your vision for that? Yep. I would first like to say I'm a big dreamer. And I believe in dreams because everything does begin with a dream. We migrated to the UK as refugees and my brother being disabled, as I'd already stated, when I was nine years old, I sort of started taking on a caring role for him. And my question was, where would my brother be if we were still in Uganda? And so that question sort of, um, ex ex sort of expanded to where are the disabled children in Uganda? And so to explain my vision and uh, my initiatives is that I'm interested and sort of my entire life when I reflect is just more or less going towards this vision, which is to go back to Uganda and get as many disabled children as I can possibly get and mostly disabled children from rural villages who are not yet into services. So their aim is really to put as many disabled children into a service, whether it be a centre, whether it be a school. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> what, I mean, you have you said a bit about what's inspired you. Absolutely. But um, can you say a bit more about where does your passion come from, for this initiative? Yep, my passion comes from a lot of things. Um, um, before I used to not really understand where my passion comes from because I felt like I've been, um, it's my family, it's just something I've been always exposed to. But my passion, um, I would first state, I would say the three people and organisation. Of course, my brother, my mother, Mary de Kassiri, and the church, Fine Church. This is um, not only where my passion comes from, but these are the people that have kept my passion um, up and firing because as a young person it's normal, you change your ideas, you um, try new things. My church have always sort of given me the encouragement, the, um, the support in different ways. They've supported me financially to also um, build a land in Uganda where the first initiative was to build a school. Um, they've helped me sort of mentally and also just it's almost like simple things as bringing newspaper articles that they've seen and also just checking up on just the interest they have in what could have been just a phase that was going through they've kept that burning and they've also in any way that they could sort of have known um oh sarah might be like uh, might be interested in this or i've spoken to somebody who has a school in uganda or who's doing a project they come and tell me so it's almost like even if i am to go off so this is why i keep saying they've kept my passion burning and they've kept my vision clear and they've sort of kept my interest and they gave me the confidence that, okay, I guess I am the individual for the job or for the mission. Um, what does God mean for you in this vision and what part does your faith play? God and my faith means a lot, actually. They are, I would say, one of the firmest foundations. It's a vision where it's, it's as if it's a seed that God planted in me because I've always said if I had it my way, I would be five foot nine, I'll be on the catwalk or in a film <laughs> if I had it my way. So um, regarding my faith and regarding God in this, I, I really see that this is his work and I'm just the vessel. Mm -hmm.